Last week, I had talked about this, and we were talking about uh, 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 streamer advice. But at the time, here's what I said. Don't always get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Mm. Don't get it caught up in what worked for one person mm -hmm. because it's not necessarily going to work for you. Instead, focus on yourself. Compare yourself to yourself. Compare your, uh, your, your half to your half and see how you're doing. See what works. See yes. what doesn't. Yep. Try to be analytical on your own actions mm. rather than taking what other people are doing and applying it and going, huh. So again, that was last week, four days ago. And then that did lead me to tweeting this two days ago. Streamers should probably not compare themselves to other streamers. The reason being is that I saw this tweet, I responded, and, and this is what actually kind of kicked off all of the various dramas that have surrounded it. This is the kickoff point. But here's TwitchCon tweeting out, being a partner goes a long way at TwitchCon Amsterdam. Partner party and exclusive shop night on Friday. Partner gift, access to the partner lounge, 50% uh, TwitchCon ticket discount. And we got a response here from uh, Biako Hawito that said, uh, the duality in these tweets are always astounding. One part, of you, uh, one part of you promotes inclusiveness of people regardless of their gender, sexuality, orientation, and disabilities. On the other hand, you cheer on the separation of partner versus affiliate. It, it, it's such an interesting way to have perceived this and a perception of overall uh, content creation. It shouldn't be a shock to people that there are benefits to hitting partner. And quite frankly, let's be honest here, the benefits between affiliate and partner in terms of on stream are limited. They are limited. And, and I have some more information or some more thoughts on that based upon some other people's tweets here that I'll also share as well. And that I also think that potentially being a creator that is a partner, you're also looking at maybe not having as successful a career as if you just remained an affiliate. We'll talk about more, more on that in a second here, but I did want to uh, uh, see a couple replies to this tweet. Exactly what I thought. I know being affiliated is nothing special nowadays, but 50% off of partners who already make more money than affiliates, that's weak. This is literally what has kicked off an entire weekend of affiliates versus partners. Sorry, you replied, we do not make more money, LOL. I wish. Uh, Percentage-wise, maybe not uh, once Twitch changes the sub split for subs, but let's be real. Streaming is your career, and I'm happy for you. Don't get me wrong, you've earned it. But most affiliates still need a daytime job besides streaming to pay the bills and put food on the table. Let me point out, <laughs> the vast majority of partners also need to have some kind of job outside of streaming to be able to afford to put food on the table. Being a partner does not mean that it is your career. <laughs> It means that you've hit 75 average viewers. That's it. That's it. And gr granted, 75 average viewers is obviously a lot of viewers. If anybody has streamed on Twitch, you obviously know that it's not necessarily easy to get viewers. But in terms of ac those 75 don't inherently mean, oh, you have 75 viewers, now you're making 60K a year. That's not the translation. It's not directly correlated. There are people that have 500 viewers on Twitch right now that also have a job because they don't make enough from subs and bits. There are people, and one of the reasons why Twitch is doing this ads incentive program is because they want to encourage people to run more ads because there are certain people who make a very, very small amount of money from subs where they actually cost Twitch money to uh, offer their content on Twitch. And so by offering more ad revenue through the ads incentive program, they are actually making more money from ads than they are from their existing subscriber or, uh, 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 or, or bits. So this whole idea that partners all of a sudden make full-time income as soon as they hit partnership is just in incredibly wrong, inaccurate, and just doesn't have any grounding in reality anymore. Maybe there was, there was a time where that was true for partners. Once you first become a partner, perhaps you have your biggest level of support at that point. Perhaps you have more people around. Perhaps you're growing, and so there's more money coming in. But a lot of people who've been partnered for several years, it doesn't inherently mean that they continue to have the same level of revenue that they once did. Here's Street who responded, 
I'm a Twitch partner and still work a daytime job. Also, not all partners automatically get higher sub splits. It's a common misconception. The only sub split difference is on tier two is 60 40, and on tier three is 70 30. So, where that kind of leads us here is, is an ongoing discussion of, of uh, affiliates and partners. You know, one of the things that, that I think was interesting about tweeting this out is how many people said that's easier said than done. True in all professions, still not, uh, still trying not to do this. I know that I shouldn't, but sometimes it's hard not to. Definitely not a good thing for my mental health. Shouldn't happen, but still will. So many variables we don't know in order to even compare. Any tips on how to uninstall that mod? Easier said than done. Easier said than done. And I think Luna is an interesting take. I, I I really like Luna, by the way. And I know that she's uh, she's taking a break from Twitch streaming here. And, and it kind of I think it kind of ties in potentially mental health break, um, where she had said here after nearly five years of streaming full time on Twitch, I just don't know if I'm cut out for it anymore. There have been times during my Twitch career that I've doubted myself, sure, but I've never felt like quitting as much as I do today. I see other creators, uh, amazing creators who I started out with absolutely flourishing, and de deservedly so. They work hard, and I can't help but wishing that they were me, uh, that that were me, or that I had the ability to do what they do. The truth is I spend most uh, stream days extremely anxious to hit go live because I spend most nights after ending feeling like a failure. I can't tell you how many times lately I've hit end stream and just cried. It's really taking a toll on me in a big way. I know that uh, we are more than numbers on a screen. And I think this is an important part. This is a really important part because this is, becomes the self-fulfilling death cycle that ends up occurring to so many creators. And we've talked about it many times when you have that big rise and then the drop off. Uh, but lately my decline in those analytics is all I can see. Low views, low engagement, low revenue, all equate to my low self-esteem. Steam, and I just don't feel like I can get it to the other side of uh, get to the other side of it while I'm wrapped up in trying to figure out what content I could make so people will want to be around. Anyways, th th this was just like a really personal thing that she had shared on her Twitter that th that I thought was particularly uh, particularly uh, related to this topic. With that in mind, with that in mind, there's one other thing here that I kind of want to talk about as it relates to this, and. Uh, that's the money side of things. Uh, and so I have a couple of threads here that I wanted to pull up that I think are, are interesting and uh, relate to this topic. This is Rora Pickles. Since being partnered on Twitch, my income has halved. I make half the money I used to, and my viewership went down by a third or more. Being partnered on Twitch doesn't mean instant success, and in some cases means people assume you're successful and support you less. So that kind of goes into the, the line of thinking that I was saying before in that I almost am starting to think, and again, this is just a feeling. I don't have anything to directly support this other than incidental stories such as this. Uh, but I am starting to feel like perhaps there's a per perception, a growing perception that once you hit partner, that you've made it, and as such, people support less. So it could be possible that being a Twitch partner actually results in harming your career financially as well. Uh, versus if you were to just remain a Twitch affiliate and potentially still have the, 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 the sentiment of people coming and visit your stream that you are still an affiliate, that you are not a partner. And so because you're not a partner, you haven't made it. You're not making bank. And again, this got a lot of uh, reactions from it. It's incredibly disheartening and it's a bit sad to see people who supported you before partner just stop showing up. My income and numbers on Twitch are way less than what they used to be, but I'm still the same old meme. I see this happening on my channel too. It really sucks to have people assume that once you are a Twitch partner, you no longer need the support. As a partner, you don't make any more money. Two years almost after hitting partner, I've never even come close to hitting my CCV average for the month compared to month I hit partner. People assume once you hit partner, you are successful. This isn't true at all. This is such a repeating pattern that I've taken to call it the Twitch epilogue effect. This is a sentiment that has been repeated over and over. Here's five seconds ago, literally five seconds ago from in a box. I have never been as successful as I was the month I got partnered. In every month since, I have battled with the idea that I don't deserve the check mark. I used to think I was mentally strong enough for streaming, but I really had no idea how hard it was going to get. Got another thread here. This is from Street Grind. There seems to be a lot of misconceptions about being a Twitch partner. 
I've been a partner for about a year and a half now. I'm going to share how it's been from my perspective and clear some stuff up. Nothing has really changed, so to speak. More emotes, yeah. But what if I told you that I had better viewership as an affiliate instead of a partner? Y'all ready for that kind of imposter syndrome? Knowing what your worth is, but your numbers don't reflect that? I still work a full-time job to pay my bills. I pay everything. My payout has never covered my rent once. It doesn't even cover half now. Some people have roommates, some are married, some live at home. Everyone's circumstances are different. Be mindful of that. Or one other tweet. This is Gappy, friend of the stream. Did I miss the magically start making money Twitch partner perk that people keep telling me exists? All these things kind of link up together. The sentiment that occurs uh, between streamers can be pretty damaging in terms of your mental health. We obviously covered some threads there. We covered uh, 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 Luna Lyric. And that ultimately leads to a place of general harm, general hurt, when you, when you hurt your own feelings, uh, when you go, well, that person is doing so well. Why am I not doing so well? Uh, there's ways to actually compare yourself to yourself in terms of looking at your viewership, in terms of looking at your stats and saying, where am I measuring? How am I doing? Am I doing well? Is there places for improvement that I can that I can work on? But comparing to other people, it's just never going to be a fair comparison. And then that kind of wraps up to the point of money in that partnership might actually be, as we continue to have these kind of conversations about partnership, there's no sub-split difference. 50-50 for tier one. The only difference, and this is why people get confused, is tier two is 60-40, tier three is 70-30. There's not much else that, that that that's significantly different. You get a discount once a year to go to an event on tickets where you save 50 bucks. You get access to a, a, a small area where you're going to save another 50 bucks on food and drink. But potentially... Potentially, and I need to do more research into this, but potentially, perhaps a, 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 a check mark on Twitch might actually be to the detriment of your career if the perception from the community at large is that once you hit partner, you've made it. If people start to if, if people are thinking that currently, if they currently believe that that is true and that sentiment continues to grow, then it is going to you 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 might never make as much money uh, as a partner than you would as an affiliate. I wonder if people should just stay as an affiliate. It might actually be the smartest career path that you can actually choose.